Jeremy Parrish. And I'm Mike Williams. And we're with US Gamer, and we're here in New York City to get our filthy, filthy hands on the PlayStation 4, which launches this week. What do you think so far? Uh, a lot of the games uh, have been games that we've already been playing. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4, Battlefield 4, there's Madden out there, but there's some interesting new games out there, like I just ended up playing The Witness today, Jonathan Blow's latest game, and I really got sucked in. I only went in there for 15 minutes and ended up spending like 30 minutes just wandering around an island doing puzzles. Yeah, unfortunately The Witness isn't a launch game. The, the launch lineup is okay, but it's not amazing. A lot of the stuff that we're seeing is kind of further out. Like I play, well I didn't play it, but I checked out uh, more of Thief today, and it looks great, but it's not until February. And it's not specifically a PS4 game, although it's making some cool sort of uh, extra features. It has a few extra features for PS4. You know, the, the PS4 controller has the uh, light on the panel in the front, right? Right. Yeah, so Thief is all about staying in the dark and sticking in the shadows, and there's on screen a little indicator to show if you're in the light or in the shadow. But on PS4, um, the light on the front of the controller actually glows really bright white if you're in light, so you don't even have to look at the screen, like the color of the room, like the shadows change because all of a sudden your controller is saying, hey, you're exposed. It's, it's a pretty cool little feature, just a little touch, but I like it. But right now, when it comes to launch, we're talking mostly multi-plat games. Yeah, the, um, the few original packaged retail games that Sony's putting out for PS4's launch aren't that inspiring. Knack is kind of like God of War for kids. It's okay, but it doesn't really excite me. Killzone is a decent first-person shooter, but I haven't really played enough to get to a point where it has its own personality. Um, so it's a little underwhelming in that regard, but there's a lot of really strong content being di uh, delivered digitally. Uh, you have games like Resogun, which is just, you know, pure arcade-style shooting. It's by the um, Geometry Wars guys, right, Housemark? Yes, and it's a, it's a beautiful game. In fact, that's the feeling that I had when I played it. I was like, oh, hey, this is going to be the PS4's Geometry Wars. It's very Defender in style, but it's bright, it's quick, it's fast, and it plays well. No, I mean, it's totally Defender. If you remember the old arcade game, but it's, you know, it has all these crazy particle effects, and instead of just being on a flat screen that scrolls infinitely, you're actually like on a cylinder, basically. So you're constantly having to keep in mind the things that are happening to your right, to your left, and you know, you can kind of look ahead and see what's further out. And it gets really, really intense. It's just like uh, a complete arcade game. But, you know, despite the fact that it's kind of hearkening back to that old style, uh, it, it's a really great launch title for PS4 because it just shows off a lot of what the system can do visually. Like it's very, very flashy and very intense. A lot of fun. And and there are uh, some of the multiplayer games that really do show off that next generation power. Uh, NBA 2K14 is a beautiful, beautiful looking game. There's also Need for Speed Rivals, Assassin's Creed 4. They all look great. AC4 looks okay. I thought it looked really great on PS3 to begin with. Like the jump to PS3 to PS4, not so great for that game. But Need for Speed, like, I mean, racing games always look fantastic when you have a brand new console. Drive Club, Forza, they, they all look great, but Need for Speed has that sort of openness that kind of goes hand in hand with the, the concept of the game, and yet it still looks just freaking awesome. Right. But there are titles that sort of let down that sort of next-gen feel. Injustice really feels just like a game of the year version of the game you've already played on 360 and PS3. Madden 25 has a lot of new technology, but when you're actually playing it, it doesn't necessarily look that much better when it comes to presentation. Yeah, I mean, there are a few things about PlayStation 4 that I'm still uncertain about. You know, when they first announced it earlier this year, they made a big deal about streaming the PlayStation archives and having all this Gaikai instant access technology built into it. And they haven't said anything about that in a long, long time. They just kind of brushed it under the rug as if, you know, we've for forgotten about it. And, you know, that's one of the big selling points of the PS4, in my opinion. So I'm really looking forward to hearing more about this sort of thing once the system's kind of out in the market and they've gotten past the initial rush because they really need to start addressing these sort of deeper, more important features that are going to do a lot to determine how long the system's legs are and, you know, to give it a competitive edge against the, the Xbox One. Um, but on the whole, I'm, I'm impressed with the system. I wasn't sure if I was no. really cared that much about next-gen consoles, but 
having you know the system in hand and playing with some of the games and just kind of looking ahead to what it could potentially do and how people are exploring some of the ideas like the the dual shock 4 features I'm looking forward to seeing more of it no and it's looking great and one thing that uh, the ps4 won't have to worry about is usually with consoles you get launch and then there's a drought afterwards but there are still games that we're seeing mm -hmm. that are coming out in early, you know, quarter one, 2014, quarter two. And so it looks like there's going to be constant games, always something to play, especially with Sony's strong uh, digital only library. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So um, this could be, you know, a very unusual sort of game console. Like you care about it in six months, not just in one year. Um, so that's, that's positive. Yeah, no. I'm feeling pretty good about it. No, it Let's looks go play like some more PS4 good. games. I agree. All right. For US Gamer, I'm Jeremy Parrish. And I'm Mike Williams. And we'll see you on PlayStation Network, probably.